Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Get Tech Smart. I am your host Flo Nicholas and this show is everything tech. Uh, it's a way to help the community be aware of everything that's going on in terms of technology in New Hampshire, whether it's tech innovation or tech events. And today we're focused actually on a tech event that is happening right here in New Hampshire. And I truly love the name. It's called Wicked STEM New England. So what is this event? What are we talking about? Well, if you're asking that, you're in luck. I have Billy Wilson here from the Union Leader, and he's the uh, PR and events coordinator. And you're going to tell us all about Wicked STEM. It's happening right here in New Hampshire. Yes. Uh, what is going on? What are we doing? Um, so it's going to be on September 24th at the Hampshire Dome in Milford. And it's going to be from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And um, at the New Hampshire Union Leader, we kind of decided to create, the, we look at the community and we kind of make events based on what we see as a community need of all of New Hampshire. And uh, I think this event is kind of something that New Hampshire really needs to promote all the stuff that's going on inside of it, inside of New Hampshire and northern New England. Um, and our idea behind this is to just to expose all the students, whether it's college, high school, middle school, elementary, you know, things start so early nowadays into the right. tech field. Just introduce them to what's, what's available to them locally, um, what they can go, what, what they can see later in life, or the job opportunities that are available. So there's a lot of things involved in this one event um, besides demonstrations and speakers as well. Yeah, I mean, I think you touched upon like so many great aspects. And one of the things you and I discussed before we started recording is that the pandemic, you know, really kind of accelerated our use of technology. And our kids were now, you know, working at home remotely. And they had to learn how to navigate through this, right? And one of the things that I've been seeing is that there is a need for STEM because all around us is technology. The kids need to be exposed to this because they're the future you know, Facebook founder or Twitter or what's up, right? It's, yeah, it's exactly. essential. Yeah, it's essential to um, what's going on right now in the world. Um, basically, the pandemic took all the tools that we kind of developed and made us actually use them. Right. Finally, you know, for the <laughs> yeah. first time, we're like, all yeah. this stuff already existed, but we're right. actually using it because we had to for the yeah. first time. And I think, like, you know, taking that with what's going on and just showing kids what else outside of that to grow inside the tech world. I mean, you see all these schools locally developing their own STEM programs, and, and, and it's just such a great field to go into right now. Yeah. And I, I think that the opportunities, the availability of it in the state is great, and also in northern New England, whether it's college, whether it's you're looking for, you know, a position at a company, whether it's a startup or a private company. All these things that are happening here are just, you know, so wonderful. Right, and, and not to mention, um, you know, I had uh, Weld Academy, which is in Nashville, they were here, and they actually start STEM in, in kindergarten. And one of the things they mentioned is it, it teaches the kids critical thinking, it teaches them how to be creative and innovative, mm -hmm. um, and, and these are all essential skills that they learn now, and then they become better employees later. Yes, exactly. It's fine-tuning your craft at an early age. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. So... What is going to go on at the event? Can we get a, a breakdown so people who are watching sure, uh, yeah, can understand? Sure. So we're going to have an expo hall um, there that will have a bunch of you know booths that will be set up with all different demonstrations, um, as well as you know companies that will have information about what they're doing, uh, maybe job positions that are available, um, and stuff like that. Um, and through these booths, you know, some of our top sponsors are Fidelity. Um, and the University System of New Hampshire. So they'll have booths there and they'll be talking about what they want to do with STEM and what their involvement in STEM is and their programs with that. That's excellent. Um, but we'll also have stuff like FIRST, which is a, a robotics um, nonprofit in the community, which kind of goes to the schools and teaches them STEM robotics and stuff and has programs all over New Hampshire. They'll be there and they're going to have some fun robotics going on along with um, some Lego displays and stuff to do like that. So it'll yeah. be a real fun um, expo for all ages because there'll be stuff for younger kids, but there'll be stuff, you know, demonstrations for 
college students and high school students as well. Right, and, and you mentioned something about also people who might have job positions open. So for college students, yeah, uh, this is this is a great opportunity to start like you know get into that face to face time with some of these tech companies. Exactly, and then just being aware of what's available you know, around, and also internships as well. You know, yeah. people can I'm sure will have information about that as well. So a lot of these companies are going to be there. It's going to be. Um, it will be a great opportunity, like I said, for everybody in the community, even you know, even people who pass college, because whether you're looking for a job after college or you just want to be aware of what's going on right. in like the STEM field and see what's growing in New, New Hampshire, Northern right. New England. And this is a family-oriented activity. Uh, one yes. of the things I've, I've been promoting this <laughs> and talking to my neighbors, yeah. uh, I actually caught a neighbor outside, and I'm like, hey, <laughs> just so you know, yeah. uh, because I know her daughters. Uh, one is you know, going to uh, school to be an electrical engineer, and another one is doing cybersecurity. And I told her, this is a great event uh, for you to come with your, with your kids. Um, and you know, my husband is also an engineer at BAE, and I told him, listen, um, I want you to be there watching the kids and walk around with them, like encourage them to be curious and, and play with some of these activities that are going to be there. Yeah, I agree. I think, I think it's, that's the whole experience of it. It's very hands-on as well as informational. So, you know, with the kids, younger kids and everything like that, they won't be bored. They'll have a lot, so many activities to do and it'll be really exciting and engaging for them, as well as, you know, if you're a little older, there's so much stuff to learn and opportunities for you, whether it's exactly. a college that you're looking at or whether, you know, it's a job opportunity, like I said. Yeah, that's, that's excellent. Now, let's get into one detail. There are some speakers that are going to be at the event. So mm -hmm. can we get like a sneak peek of who's coming? Yeah, sure. So our keynote speaker is going to be uh, Lee Morin. And he is a NASA astronaut. And his deal is he actually went to the University of New Hampshire. Um, and we actually had an article done in him, ab about him in our newspaper um, a few years back. And I found him through, the, through that. And I talked to him. And he designs um, NASA cockpits and, and, oh, wow. and all those type of things that are very, very, very interesting. So he's going to come and talk about Artemis, um, which is um, NASA's program to um, get the first um, woman and the first person of color on the moon. Um, there's other parts to it too. Um, it's a jump off platform to get us to Mars as well, the program. Yeah. So it's basically to kind of inhibit the moon a little bit more, understand it, and then a jump off to get to us to Mars. So yeah. that's the program. So that's he'll be talking fantastic. about that in depth. And I think, you know, I mean, that's just so interesting. I think everybody will be really I'm excited, excited about that. Yeah. Um, our, our, another speaker we have is uh, Serena Arnold. She actually um, worked at the um, Washington, Mount Washington Observatory uh, up there as the director, at, and she did a lot of stuff with uh, meteorology. But she also um, did a weather station, designed a weather station in Alaska. Oh, wow. And, yeah, it's great. And um, as well as wrote a children's book called The Weather Story. Wow. And so she'll be there um, yeah. talking about that. But her topic's a little different. It's um, kind of like, it's about STEM, but it's also right. about life. So it's, it's called learning, learning to pick yourself up um, yeah. again when you fall. Yeah, so that's they, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, so it's a good, it's a good story for, uh, it's a good presentation for adults and kids and everybody's size because it kind of teaches you how, you know, if you get knocked down, how to stand up back up in life and yeah. move forward, but with a STEM background. Right, and you know what? Uh, that kind of resonates with me. I, I'm not exactly sure how she's going to do a, a breakdown of her talk, but you know, in my life, I have pivoted. You know, I've gone from, you know, being a lawyer to spending over seven years in, in uh, corporate technology operations to now, like, digging deep into yep. technology. So I've gone through so many changes uh, in my life uh, and found my center with technology. So I can definitely resonate to sometimes you, you fall down and sometimes you, you pick yourself up and find this passion somewhere else. And for me, it's you know, technology. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. So, but we do have a, another speaker yep. uh, who's going to be on there. Yep. Do and you that's going to be her? you. Yeah. Me at <laughs> Hudson, New Hampshire. Yo, Flo Nicholas is going to be a speaker. And, and I am really excited. And thank you so much for the opportunity. Of course. Uh, I hope my passion for tech is just like blowing up in this studio. Uh, but my focus is going to be talking about, you know, the importance of early exposure. And, you know, my story is, is real simple. Like I said, I, I went to legal, but I grew up at a time where it's either you're going to law school or you're going to be a doctor. 
and I didn't have that exposure. Like, mm -hmm. you know, there wasn't that talking about STEM and these possibilities of doing something else. Yeah. So I took that traditional kind of path. Uh, and now I'm being non-traditional and I, I love it. And this is why I feel like this program is so critical and so important. Uh, and not just for children, but for girls and what I consider underrepresented uh, group of individuals. Uh, this exposure and this event is so critical. So parents, bring your kids because it's, you know, you're exposing to kids to something that's very fundamental. We're living in a world where technology has literally taken over. And if you don't jump on this train, you're going to miss the train or get run over. <laughs> Exactly. By the train, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, so this is fantastic. So it's going to be on September 24th, yep. and it's from 10 to 4, yep. uh, and it's the, at the Hampshire Dome. Yep, parking's free. It's tons of parking, so it'll be right outside the dome, so it's available for anyone. So. Oh, that's fantastic. And, and again, it's, it's a, an event where parents are encouraged to bring their kids, even if you don't want to go to the event, the biggest thing that we're trying to stress here is the importance of starting to explore yes. STEM and yes. introducing your kids uh, into STEM. Yes, and we have a website for the event. It's uh, wickedstem.com. So you can go there, and then we'll have, that's where you can register for the event. You do need to register. We want to make sure that we know how many people are coming. Right. So. Yeah, so you guys can get prepared for that. Yeah, exactly. And this is awesome. And this is this, this is the second year, right? Off this is the first event. year. Oh, this so is the first year. We were okay. going to do it. The first year we were going to do it right. was during the pandemic, and we and couldn't. COVID we were, and COVID hit. Yeah. hit, and we weren't able to do it. So. And this is fantastic. So this is the first year that it's going to be done. Uh, and so far, everything is looking good. Yeah. And it, it's full speed ahead to happen on September 24th. Fourth, um, and, and I'm excited. Um, again, I'm going to be one of the speakers. I'm excited to hear what the other speakers are going to say. And more than anything, I'm really excited to see the companies that are going to be there. Me too. Yeah, because I want to play around with uh, all the tech stuff. So, you know, again, I really appreciate you coming today thank and you so much talking for your time. to us. Yeah, I mean, this is fantastic. And thank you for putting this together. Um, you know, hopefully this is something that we will continuously see. Yes, we're looking to make this an annual event and have it at every September or October around that time in the fall. So annually we'll be doing this, hopefully, going yeah. on into the future. No, and this is fantastic because typically some people will have to cross the border, uh, go to Massachusetts or somewhere else uh, yeah. to attend these events. But I'm happy that we're finally kind of putting a spotlight uh, on New Hampshire by having an event like this because then we can draw crowds that they come across the border to our state and participate in this event. So, Billy, thank you so much for coming again uh, on the show. Uh, if you need more information, we'll put it up for you. Um, again, this is for educational purposes. Um, if you want to learn more about STEM, we would definitely encourage you uh, to explore and, you know, let your kids be curious. And you know what? You have to be curious as well. So thank you again for watching another episode of Get Tech Smart. Stay tuned for more.